Okay, so how are you doing guys? Okay, so I thought I'd do a quick update to see where the energy is fluctuating between um, you guys. Okay, so it's the 22nd today, so we've got a lot happening in the sky and the energy has shifted. Um, I know that myself because over the past few days or week, I've felt like I've been shoved for a Coke bottle. <laughs> um, but we've come out the other side with the portal. So much more of a fluent energy. So let's see where we are. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you would like a um, private reading, everything is in the description in order for you to send me a quick email. Okay, There's other stuff in there that you can also follow. So Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So you have Opportunity, Ace of Pentacles, of something that's grounded and stable. Something that's committed and something that basically doesn't go anywhere. It's an opportunity, but it's something that holds itself up because it doesn't go anywhere because you hold yourself up. It's like, you know, when you have stability and, and groundedness to yourself, it's, you realise that yourself doesn't go anywhere because you're grounded and stable and committed to yourself, basically, or someone that is exactly the same. Okay, So that's opportunity, but that can also mean work. Um, money looks real good, an opportunity for uh, payday money coming in. Um, but that's also like the seed of intent that gets planted within the light that shines within what holds it up. So it can be a guide, but this is a guide, this is an offering from your guide to say hello. Hello! <laughs> okay. Um, but we've got the Ten of Wands, which is ending a cycle, uh, dropping the burden. We've got the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups. You've got the Two of Pentacles. So something that has been very stressful could, to do, could be to do with work. Uh, if it's to do with love, it's an ending, so it's a 10. So something came to an ending, maybe. It was a, a heavy burden in order to keep carrying. But the Knight of Cups is like, um, it's not a fast energy, but it's kind of like a thought at the moment. You know, it's like um, trying to find balance. This is universal balance. This is yin and yang within yourself or someone else. Or juggling between offers, but, it, you know, we'll see how far it comes out. Um... But Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So you've got equality in the Sun. Oh, that's good. Um, so because of a heavy burden, uh, that something that's happened, a heavy burden, because it's now been lifted and dropped, okay, you're now hopefully finding a quality of give and take. Okay. So sometimes this represents like two or three parted people, maybe. It depends on what you're in because you have the two. But it's like one person is giving more to the other. So it can be like money, or it can be an energy or anything. Okay. But this is also like trying to align yourself with with um, align yourself with yourself, because the, the things are imbalanced. You know, it's, it, it it's supposed to be equality, but it's it's below the ten. So something like that could have been happening within your life, and it's caused a heavy burden. Um, but let's see, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So we've got taking a new direction or someone waiting. Uh, no, sorry, this is a different card. This is a two. So taking a new direction, thinking broadly, more more outlooking. You know, the world is held within your hands. You know, so it's it's um, it's bringing in in more stability. Let's say. So we have a ten. Pentacles, put that one underneath. Um, we'll leave that one as the overall energy. Okay. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, because of this stability, because of finding balance maybe within yourself, it's it's bringing in universal energy of money. Okay. So this is also alignment. So it could be separation of family or something that ha that's happened. But this is someone that's caring, giving, nurturing. Okay. It can be a carer. Uh, working care homes or communities or you do okay but this is basically payday um, because of universal balance and structure within yourself page of pentacles talks about someone make thinking about making an offer okay because the, the page goes to the um, ace and then you've got the sun that shines light over the page and it grows into the pentacle uh, into the <laughs> into the ace but, but money looks great because you've got equality. So someone around you has or you have, but equality, you see, when you find a quality of give and take and you give back, you become unstuck and you realise things about karma because that's like, that's that's karma that's carried with on your back, that with the time and everything. Okay. Um, but nothing is major apart from the sun, but that's like majorly good. Um 
let's have a look. What is ten? Of, tell me more about the ten bottles. So yeah, because of a heavy burden being dropped, it's kind of like waiting. It's kind of like waiting to waiting for your money to come in, waiting for more stability within the home life, or someone's waiting. Um, but it's basically taking a new direction, the thought of taking a new direction. And then you have like a love offer coming in, uh, water sign towards an earth sign or earth sign towards a water sign or something in a chart. Let's have a look at the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is Spirit Of cups, the moon, so something to do with Pisces or Cancer. So you've got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Um, yeah, basically, well, that's kind of you know, that's that's the illusional self, you know, that's finding yourself too, because we also have the moon cycle, so it's probably stability within something. Let's have a look more at the moon. Can you tell me more about the moon, please? The moon, the moon, the moon. So you've got, so you've got the page and the two. Wow. <laughs> so you have, you have a page offering a knight. So that's, and holding on to that, holding on to the emotion. So something to do with Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces in this mix here completely. Um, offering something offering something stable and grounded or holding on to a water sign. That's stable. Let's have a look at the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. It's a little bit of a confusing energy because you've got a mixture of earth and water. Things that are hidden, things that are hidden are, is something to do with water signs and earth signs. Like wanting to offer to one another, but in between there's something that's hidden. Because, I mean, the, the, the moon doesn't always represent that, but it kind of does. Um, so you've got the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups normally represents Cancer. Okay, but it's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but normally represents Cancer can mean like finding emotional balance or someone that is completely out of balance you know the king of cups always talks about someone that's emotionally aloof which is drinking un emotionally unstable okay um, but you also have like two water signs I'm starting to see this card as is one that is emotionally aloof because it's like an empty cup but then one is looking more towards this one which is more stable it's something stable and grounded okay and it's like treading water um, but that can well mean to me because of the two of pentacles of one water sign the king of cups being aloof which is drinking drugs alcohol aloof with my emotions unstable and then it's creating imbalance an imbalance <coughs> an imbalance <coughs> um, but then you've got other water signs here of like one that is stable committed you know, because like the Four of Pentacles is like holding on, but it is also means like emotional stability too, like something that's stable and grounded and committed. Um, let's have a look at the Sun. The Sun. What's the Sun for? The Sun. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> the Four of Wands. So something to do with a soulmate energy, twin flame energy. Okay, it shines the light over something that's grounded and stable. You know, a happy home life. Happy home life. Some say twin flame or soulmate. Okay, the eleven eleven. Um, but that's. I mean that that energy is good. Um, let's have a look at three, four, five, six pentacles. Sorry, six pentacles. Six pentacles. Yeah. Wow. So that's that energy there together. Is this is a little bit confusing, but this here is like. Um, someone that is a guide manifesting manifesting equality and give and take someone that holds like um, everything that's stable like um, equality give and take a man for someone that can manifest um, equality because it's a, a flowing motion of something that goes in between one and in and out of the other 
So when you do that and you find that and you are emotionally stable and committed to yourself and you pull yourself together, okay, then you find a quality and you can give it back to other people and you form that bond with people and then it's a free-flowing energy that's not controlling. This can be controlling, okay, this is every element, but when every, every element is under control, the thing that starts to manifest first is equality, okay. When that finds equality, that then brings in equality, which is this energy, okay, this energy. Because it's because the equality is looking over at this, okay, and then the two of cups, which is to do with soulmate energy. Wow, and then you've got the three, the three. So that is you've got water signs all over the place. Earth signs, water signs, every element. Um, but here is someone that is manifesting equality of a soulmate union. Soulmate union. So let's have a look at um, someone that's thinking about travel or going across the sea or you want someone to come across the sea or you're just communicating with the world or... This is someone that, like, on the internet, because of the world that's held within the hands, or just um, thinking. Let's have a look at the Ten of Pentacles. Two, ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, please. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. So you've got the Empress. So there, that's groundingness. That's grounded. And... Wanting to communicate, communication coming in fastly, or needing to communicate. But you see, sometimes that means like can mean arguing, but that can just mean coming in with with communication too. But you have the Empress, which is the Earth Mother, which is sorry, someone that's completely grounded and stable within the home life, completely. You know, the Earth Mother, people that have children or want children. Okay, could be fertile, wanting children, wanting their children to be more stable under their home completely. Okay, so that's a counterpart to the emperor. But because you have this energy here, you know, if you're looking at love, then that's created that. But I don't know what this, this energy is a little bit kind of confusing. Because you've kind of got holding on to emotions and feelings and holding on to someone that is stable. They is stable. Something to do with Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces and Cancer. Okay, and holding on to that. But then you do have this emotionally aloof kind of imbalanced energy here. And that could have been what the burden was and that caused someone to look in a new direction. But overall, generally, that's great because of the page of pentacles so that means growth it means growth you know so that's just a quick energy update okay but as far as people coming in you've got or going out you've got water signs or any element okay pretty much because of the magician okay but there's union here there's union all right okay guys so i'll leave that there so if you want a personal reading everything is in the description to do to go to your personal your personal energy, okay, because all, all things can relate, but it depends on your personal reading, okay, but there are other things that you can follow, and I'll hopefully get rid of, uh, get down to some other reading soon. Cheers, Cancer, peace, bye.